Hey guys, so it's Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best SD sniping class in Call of Duty World War II. And so I'm basically just going to go over the class, a sort of look at the division, the basic training, and then the different snipers you can use. I'm not going to necessarily say you have to use one sniper because even I've sort of played around with them. We're going to look into the attachments as well. Uh, but before getting this video, just like to say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Call of Duty World War II. And also, don't forget to drop a like down below and tell me what you guys like doing when you're sniping in Call of World War II. And uh, in the background, I just have some GB highlights of picks I got, sort of nice sniper plays and stuff like that. So the class, basically, you're going to want to run the Airborne Division. Um, I personally don't like the Mountain Division, although you can run it if you want. I just like the Airborne because uh, you're mostly fighting at long distances with the sniper, so having the dead silence or the complete silence isn't as big of a deal. Um, but with Airborne, you can actually rush to the head glitches a lot faster because you can sprint for longer distances and sprint faster. So in a lot of these clips, you can see I actually beat the enemy to the head glitches and catch them off guard while sprinting, which is something most people aren't worried about from a sniper. Now, next for the basic training, you're going to pretty much have to run inconspicuous, uh, just so you at least get some sort of silence. If you're really not worried about it, you don't have to, but in S&D, you kind of need that sort of silence, so at least when you're crouching, you are silent. The next, we have the secondary machine pistol, um, which can is basically a... Um, normal in the S&D, everyone runs the machine pistol. And that's just because it has the fastest time to kill out of all the pistols uh, by a mile. You can make an argument, I guess, for the M1911 up close, but I mean just the consistency of the time to kill in the machine pistol, just so much higher than all the other ones. Now lastly, for your frag, uh, you can pretty much run whatever you want. I have the Mark II frag listed there. I just like that because you can cook it. But I've also been running around with the sticky nade. And a lot of people run the stun grenade, also just the basic British stun grenade. Uh, this one's really up to you, whatever you uh, find better use out of. There's no real right answer in this department. And uh, last, we're going to go over the attachments for the weapon. So for the sniper, you're going to want to run FMJ and the ballistic CPU equivalent. Whatever may see your gun sway less. Um, and then, if you do have a third attachment slot, I'd recommend running extended max. But if you're using this class setup exactly, you won't. So you're only going to be able to use FMJ um, and the ballistic CPU equivalent. Um, but if you're running something like primed, if you don't think you need inconspicuous and you have an extra attachment, um, then you can just run extended mags because you can't really use any of the other ones like rapid fire. Um, and you don't really need the four times scope unless you personally do prefer it. And on the machine pistol, I'd recommend running extended mags. It's pretty much what everyone runs is because it bumps the magazine count up from 10 rounds to 15 rounds. And that's extremely important, especially with a gun that fires this fast and only has 10 bullets. Getting 50% more ammo is just super useful in those close quarter situations. That's what it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, don't forget to drop a like down below and tell me you guys are running uh, in COD World War II down below in the comments. But that's what it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.